Hi, in this video I'm looking at this question here where we're asked to identify any pairs of congruent triangles below and explain why they are congruent. So we've got 10 triangles here and I want to know if there's any pairs of them or what pairs of them are congruent. So congruent means that they are exactly the same shape. So they have the same sides, they have the same angles, they have the same size. And so let's have a look at these and see what we can find that matches those sorts of properties. So if we look at, let's start off with our first triangle. Our first triangle is triangle ABC. And we want to see if it's congruent to any of these other triangles. Now, for it to be congruent, it must have one of four possible properties. We must be able to show that all three sides are the same, but we only know two out of the three sides. We must show that it's a right angle triangle with one of the sides and the hypotenuse the same, but it's not right angled. We must show that two angles are the same and the side between those two angles is the same but we've only got one angle marked or we must show that two sides are the same or and the angle between those two sides matches up with our other triangle so let's have a look because we've got that scenario i've got two sides one's five and one's six and i've got the angle between them so I want to find another triangle that's got a side length 6, a side length 5, and an angle between those two sides marked. And if I go through my shapes, it's possibly going to be this last triangle here. So let's have a look and see what we've got. We've got side AB on my triangle here. And that matches up with side PQ. They're both... They're both six units long. I've got side BC here, so it matches up. It's five units long, so it matches up with Q and R. So it matches up with side Q to R, which is also five units long. And then I've got angle B here, angle B, which is marked with a double angle. So it would mark, match any other angles that are marked with a double angle marking which happens to be angle Q here. So it lines up with angle Q. And so that means that vertex A, corner A, matches up with vertex P because it links to B and B is the same as Q. And then B links to C and it links to R. So we can say that triangle ABC is congruent, so we use three horizontal lines, to triangle PQR. I've got to match the A to the P, the B to the Q, and the C to the R. And the reason was that we matched two sides and the included angle. So that's the side angle side test. So I can give my reasoning as to why as well. So that's triangle A matching up with triangle PQR. So, let's have a look at the next triangle. Let's have a look at triangle AFG. And let's see what we've got going on here. We've got a right angle triangle, and I know the hypotenuse and one of the other side. So I've got the capacity to match this up with one of my tests, which is if I know that, that it's a right angle, the hypotenuse and one of the sides matches up, then I'm all good. So, let's have a look first at angle G and see if I can find another triangle that's also right angled. This triangle is also right angled, but it doesn't have the side markings that we require. So it's not going to be that one. Um, this one's right angled. It's got a hypotenuse 8 and a short side marked. So it's probably going to be this one. So let's have a look, see. Angle I in this triangle also is 90 degrees. So they're both 90 degrees. Ang our side A through to F, 
So side A through to F matches side P through to F. So P through to F, and they're both eight units long. And side A to G here matches up with this side because it's got one tick mark. So it would line up with any side with one tick mark, which this does have. So it's the same as P to I. We don't know how long it is. So that means that I can say these two triangles are similar. So that means that triangle AFG is similar, and I've got to match up the vertices, the corners as well. So A in this triangle is linking across that short mark side to our right angle. So that would match P because it's linking up to the right angle. So P. F is the side after the hypotenuse. So that would also be F in this triangle. And then G is the right angle. I is the right angle. So they are similar. And the reason is because we had a right angle. We matched up the hypotenuse and we matched up another side. So the RHS, right angle hypotenuse side test. So that means that those two are congruent. So let's move on to the next one. The next one is triangle KLJ. So it's right angled and we know this side, but we don't know the hypotenuse. We've got nothing marked on this side. We know that this side is going to match up with another side with two line markings on it, but we do know that it's 30 degrees. So we've got two angles, a 90 and a 30, with a side in between. So that's probably going to be our angle side angle test. So if I go through, I want to look for another triangle with a 90 degree, a 30 degree, and a double tick mark, which is this one here. It's got 90 degree, it's got a 30 degree, it's got a double tick mark. So if I go through what we need, let's line up angle, uh, let's line up angle J in this triangle. So angle J happens to be the same as angle S, which is 30 degrees. Our 90 degree angle K matches up with angle T, which is 90 degrees. And our two sides here are marked K to J and T to S. So K to J marks T to S, and we know they're the same because they both have a double tick mark on them. So that means that these two triangles are congruent. Triangle K, L, J is congruent to triangle, well, K was the right angle, so T is the right angle. L was the unmarked, so use the unmarked. And S is our 30 degrees, and J is our 30 degrees. So and we use the angle side angle test. So those two are congruent. So let's go and have a look at uh, the next two. So these two are congruent. So we've only got two pairs left. So we're now having a look at triangle F, I'll go E, F, D, stick to alphabetical. So, Triangle EFD has three sides marked, 171416. So we need to find another triangle that has three sides marked, which would probably be this one here. It's also got 171416. So these two are probably going to be congruent. So let's go through the process. Three sides is one of our tests, the side, 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 because if they've got exactly the same sides, they're the same size. So let's have a look at our first length. Let's do E to D, it's the smallest. E to D, is there another one with length 4? Yes, we do. We have H to G. And they're both length 4. D to F is length 6. So another one length 6. G to I. So that lines up with G to I is length 6. And E to F, length 7. H to I, length 7. So E to F is the 7 is H to I, length 7. So the sides match, three side pairs of sides match up, so we're also congruent. So we can say that triangle EFD 
is congruent to triangle. And let's line these up. E to D linked to the 4, and then D links to the 6, so we need... Uh, e would therefore be the H, and D would be G. So we're going to have E matches to side uh, corner H, D matches to corner G, and so our top one is F and I. And we cut there using the side, side, side test. So, these two are congruent. I just need to see if these last two are congruent or not. So, let's have a look. Triangle M N O and let's see if it's going to be congruent to this one. So let's start off with the obvious. We have this angle here, 45 degrees. So angle N is the same as angle W and it's 45 degrees. And now because I've got an angle, I either need the side on both sides of it or another angle of the side in between. But I don't have that. And so I've got to have a look at this. Yes, angle M to N, a side M to N, is the same as side v to, uh, W to V, which is 7. But I need to make sure that O to N Therefore, the other one on the other side of the angle, I need these two sides, O to N, to match up with W to X, but I've got no evidence. There's no information. So we cannot say that O to N, they are not necessarily equal to W to X. So therefore, these two are not congruent. We've got no evidence to say they are. So triangle... M N O is not going to be congruent to triangle. Well, N matches up with W, so we have a W in the middle. N to M is our length 7, so W to V is our length 7, so V, X. So they are not congruent because they don't pass any of the four tests because we either need an angle between two sides or two angles with a side in between them, three sides, or a right angle and a hypotenuse in a side. And we don't have that. We've got an angle, but the two sides are not on either side of that angle. Same over here. So we can't say that they're the same. So I'm just going to point out that these are not equal, and these are not congruent, because they don't pass any tests. And there we go. They're not congruent, they're not congruent. And they can't be congruent to any of the others because there's no other with a 45 degree or a side length of both 5 and 7 shown. So there's no other test that we can do to see if they're congruent.